Carrington, Director of Educational Planning. The structure of the education system in Trinidad and Tobago was aimed at providing for every citizen free secondary education in particular up to the age 14 plus and for freeing the primary schools of the problems associated with the common entrance examination. The plan for educational development that was published in 1968 was adjusted and revised to include the provision for all citizens of five years of secondary education. One might say that between 1968 and 1975, there were some 18 new secondary schools constructed, providing accommodation for some 27,000 children. And between 1975 and 1981, an additional 23 new secondary schools were constructed, providing altogether some 46,600 places at secondary level over the 13 year period 1968 to 1981. Trinidad and Tobago's financial sector comprises a wide range of commercial banks, finance houses, trust companies, a reinsurance company, a national insurance board, all of which are presided over by the central bank. The main responsibility of the bank is the promotion of money, credit and exchange conditions favorable to the development of the economy. The bank will be sited at the new financial complex with the Ministry of Finance. The complex is being built with British management, engineering and other technical skills under a government-to-government -government agreement. The British are also responsible for the Hall of Justice as well as the multi-storied car park and other construction, while among others Canada will provide a new airport terminal, France the Mount Hope Medical Education Complex, West Germany reorganization of public transport and the Netherlands development of our ports. International students were trained in important research conducted at the former Imperial College of Tropical Agriculture, now a faculty of the University of the West Indies. Facilities for research for naturalists from all over the world are provided at the Asa Wright Nature Center. Near a home, Trinidad and Tobago has actively pursued the goal of an integrated Caribbean community. A Ministry of Caribbean Community Affairs has been opened and agreements have been signed with St. Vincent, Antigua and Barbados. Last year, a plan was unveiled to further assist its Caribbean neighbours. Yurik Bob, Deputy Governor, Central Bank. Well, the second oil shock, as it is called, when oil prices started rising again in 1979, created a situation where many of the countries in the region would have difficulty uh, covering their balance of payments requirements. The Trinidad and Tobago oil facility is a mechanism whereby we reimburse the countries which buy oil from us for what they have paid us. The facility started with effect from January 1, 1980, but with the base of prices of January 1, 1979, just before the price increase started, so that all purchases of oil and related products from Trinidad and Tobago by the eligible countries during 1980 they would have been reimbursed for the incremental cost of that um, oil purchase from us. And again in 1981 and 1982, it's a three-year facility with a total fund of 500 million Trinidad and Tobago dollars. All CARICOM states are eligible to apply, and it's a straight cash disbursement in U.S. dollars from Trinidad and Tobago to the eligible country. Uh, to this point in time, we've had applications from eight countries, and two of them have been, have been reimbursed for purchases from this country. Uh, we have so far disbursed about 162 million Trinidad and Tobago dollars on the basis of applications totaling about 395 million Trinidad and Tobago dollars. The facility is a means whereby 
it, it works fairly effectively in that the countries simply submit to us their trade documents and on the basis of these documents we disperse immediately so that um, the funds are not tied up with any requirement for projects or any similar um, other activity on the part of the country. Now, the loan terms are fairly soft, 15 years to repay, 3 years grace. In the case of the more developed countries, uh, interest rate of 3% and the less developed CARICOM state, an interest rate of 2%, 2 but the interest capitalized during the grace period. Carrying the torch of West Indian integration has been the West Indies cricket team, which met England at the Queen's Park Oval in Port of Spain in January. Trinidad and Tobago fielded a winning side at the World Netball Championships held at the well-appointed Jean Pierre Sports Complex. And you will remember R. Hazley Crawford winning all his heats on the road to the champion sprinter in the 1976 Montreal Olympics. At the village level, a renewed interest in the folk and the dance, actively promoted by the annual Prime Minister's competition and an attempt at serious and sustained production of local theatre. I say to dance the belle, oh. I say to dance the belle, eh. I say to dance the belle, oh. I say to dance the belle, eh. I say long time ago the belle. A distinguished novelist of East Indian extraction, a group in Trinidad constituting the largest unit of that racial element in the Western Hemisphere. The continuing creativity of a people. to Trinidad and Tobago at the beginning of the 80s. On your behalf, the government, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, we salute tonight a distinguished son, Mr. Claude Noel. We are all proud of his achievement, and I hope that he feels, as I do, that his achievement is an achievement of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Before making the presentation to Mr. Noel, let me make one announcement that the government of Trinidad and Tobago today decided that without prejudice to any other act of the government which may commemorate this great achievement, the government today decided that the Scarborough Parkway in Tobago will hereafter be called the Claude Noel Highway. <laughs> able to give you such a picture of Trinidad and Tobago that I could only have hinted at by description. In recent times, our country has been called the commercial and industrial center of the Southern Caribbean. 
but I'd like to leave you with the thought of how a small twin island state of just over a million, helped by its natural resources and planning and foresight, could hold its own among the older industrialized nations of the world.